Hey guys, it's Naomi. It is November 30th, the last day of NaNoWriMo, and I finished last night at about 10 p.m. I'm so proud of myself. I wrote a little bit more than 50,000 words, and I did it. I was lagging behind during the fourth week, and for a little bit there, I wasn't quite sure that I was going to make it, but over the last couple of days, I kind of went into overdrive and ended up finishing a day early. I don't know how, I don't know how this happened, but I, yeah, I can't believe that it's over and it was quite a journey and I'm almost sad that it's over, but my novel is nowhere near being finished. Even though I wrote 50,000 words towards it during this month, there's so much more work to be done and I feel like it's really only maybe even halfway. It's turning into sort of this epic long fantasy and but I have a lot of moving parts now to work with after doing all that work this month and I'm really excited to keep writing and see where it goes and who knows maybe I'll eventually try to get it published but right now I just want to continue working on it daily. Uh, this month really helped me to get back into the habit of writing every day. And so I want to try to continue that as much as possible. Um, I might not be writing 50,000 words a month every month, but I just want to continue in some capacity to keep working on this book. I encourage you guys to do the same. You know, if you wrote 50,000 words, but you didn't necessarily finish, you know, your novel, then keep going. I, this month was certainly you know, motivating for getting that writing done, but, hi babe. <laughs> um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the, babe. Here's my progress from the last week. Um, Sunday the 20th, I didn't do much writing, 874 words. I was starting to feel like I was stalling out and uh, lagging behind a little. Next day, 1607, 1405, 1453. Thanksgiving, surprisingly, I did get some work done. I got about 1100 words done. The next day, uh, 2500 and something. Then I went back to feeling burnt out and only did 881. And then Sunday the 27th, I actually wrote for four hours and got 3648 words done. Uh, which was amazing. And then 21.43 and yesterday I wrote 24.52 and finished at 50,220. Exciting to see the winner sign on my NaNoWriMo account. So overall I have about 60 3,000 words um, towards my novel because as I mentioned before in previous videos I had written about 13,000 before starting NaNoWriMo so um, Yeah, I have about 63,000 words, but you know things need to be cut from things I wrote I need to expand in other areas I need to do some shuffling around and the story isn't isn't done yet, you know, so it's I have a long way to go and um, I'm excited to continue on that journey and and actually bring this book to completion. I encourage you if you were participating in NaNoWriMo this month and maybe you didn't reach 50,000 words, who cares? Keep writing. I know that I haven't really spoken at all about what my book is about and I still don't really want to reveal too much um, because it's nowhere near done and I'm just, I feel like I'm just in the middle of it really, but it is, um, well, I started out thinking it was YA fantasy, but it might have moved into the new adult category. I'm not sure if it's going to stay that way, but as of right now, that's what it is. And um, it is following the main character. Her name is Isla, and also following another character named Valen, and it is from multiple perspectives. Um, as of right now, I have four different perspectives going in the book, but just pretty much the, the main two characters, um, but there's some other side characters that also uh, hop in there with some chapters of their own. And it, uh, it does take place in an alternate fantasy world, and there are fairies, and there are monsters, and there are dragons, and ouch, and there are cats, 
which you can see for obvious reasons why I'd be inspired to write about cats. <laughs> um, she's just going crazy today. But anyway, I also wanted to just quickly share with you guys um, a few of the books that I kept in a stack on my desk the entire month that I was taking part in NaNoWriMo and working on this novel. And so just real quick, and this one I'm only about halfway through. I didn't have a lot of time to read this month, but I've been sort of slowly um, picking my way through this for months actually before I even decided to do NaNoWriMo. And I'll continue to work on it and finish it, but it is a really great resource I have found for just taking a look at structure if, you know, if you're new to um, structuring a novel and it takes a look at character archetypes and just all the different stages of a typical hero's journey. I have a lot of fairy related books obviously because I'm working on a fantasy world that has fairies in it and uh, so I found the following books very helpful. The Fairy Bible. Of course you knew this one was going to be in here. Uh, fairies by Brian Froud and Alan Lee. Also another one by Brian Froud, The Good Fairies bad fairy. I also found myself referencing one of my favorite um, books during this month called The Complete um, Medicinal Herbal by Penelope Odie. I love this book for so many reasons. It is visually stunning and there were uh, quite a few different like apothecary type scenes in my book so I found this to uh, be a great reference. The uh, Book of, oh wait, this is called Gary Gygax's Extraordinary Book of Names, and I have used this for years for so many different things, not just writing. The Forest Feast by Erin Gleason, because fairies gotta eat. And last but not least, the Dictionary of Symbols. This thing is huge, and I have barely even started using this yet, but I did reference it a couple of times this month, and I think it's a great resource to have around. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this last vlog for NaNoWriMo. I, again, am so excited that I finished, that I completed it. This is my first year trying NaNoWriMo, and I don't know, maybe I'll do it again next year. We'll see where I'm at in life. Um, but yeah, I would love to know in the comments down below how it went for you guys, and um, I might continue doing some writing vlogs now and again. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. Let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, I might here and there do some writing updates just to uh, talk about writing related things and update you guys on where I'm at in the process of writing this novel. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But I hope that you guys have had an amazing month, that you got some writing done regardless of how much. And it's never too late. You know, if you missed NaNoWriMo and you still want to write, like, just start. All you have to do is just sit down and start. So, I know it sounds easier than it is, but it is a journey. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this, and subscribe if you want to see more videos about books and writing and beauty. Alright, thanks guys. I will see you in another video soon. Bye!